it's just like a, like a little saline spray in the back of your nose. Not a big deal at all. That's Dr. Charlie Miramonte describing what it's like to get the much-anticipated swine flu vaccine. This emergency room physician from Indianapolis is the first in the country to get the dose administered through a nasal mist. With this uh, delivery today, we'll be uh, the first state to actually begin protecting um, in the first round our health professionals so that they neither contract nor help spread uh, this flu uh, uh, as it uh, uh, passes through our population. Initial shipments of the nasal mist vaccine are so small that as of now, they're mostly reserved for doctors, nurses, and other medical workers. But Dr. Miramati says people should be patient. He's encouraging everyone to get the vaccine. Without it, he says it's undeniable more people will get sick. We've seen the effect vaccines have had on, on uh, uh, communities throughout the last several uh, decades. And so uh, it's, it's inevitable. We would be overwhelmed. We'd overwhelm our resources. We'd, we'd overwhelm our communities and our families and whatnot. So, sure. Until the vaccine is available for everyone, the Centers for Disease Control continues to encourage people to take three simple precautions. Stay home if you're sick, cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze, and wash your hands frequently. Only about 7 million doses of the vaccine are expected by week's end. It's part of the government's massive effort to immunize more than half the country within the next few months. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.